This video will be adding a gun unlocking feature, fixing some bugs in our game and polishing it up a bit. So let's get started. Let's start by adding the gun unlocking elements. So we're going to unlock different guns the more kills we get. So we're going to set all that up in our player sprite. And here in our player sprite, we're going to start off by creating three variables. So let's go to our variable tab. And we're going to create our three variables. The first one is going to be called pistol unlocked. The next one is going to be called AR unlocked. And our last one is going to be shotgun unlocked. And the reason we're creating these three variables is so that we know when each of our different weapons are unlocked. So once our pistol is unlocked, pistol unlock will equal to one. So let's start setting our variables all to zero at the start of the game. So let's just set them all to zero. So it's AR unlocked pistol unlocked and shotgun unlocked. So now that we set them all to zero, we're going to set them to one every time our player gets a certain amount of kills. So let's just hide all of them. And now let's create a brand new if statement. So we're going to go to events and create a when I receive start game. And then we're going to do this forever and see if and then into operators and say if kills equals to 15. That is when we're going to unlock our pistol. So we're going to set pistol unlocked to one. Now let's move to the right where we see where we're able to use our different guns. So we're going to go to events, we're going to go to control and then say and create a new if statement. And we're going to put this in the if key two is pressed. And we're going to say that if, and then equals, and then go to variables and say if, pistol unlocked equals one, then that is when we're going to be able to actually use our handgun. So we shouldn't be able to use them if they're not unlocked in the game. And that will create different difficulties for our player since they don't have any guns unlocked at the time. So go back to control and we're going to create two more if statements. And now we're going to move our if key three is pressed and if our key four is pressed back into our script. So now let's go to our operators and use the equal operator. And then we're going to say if AR unlocked equals one, then we'll be able to use our AR and then we go back to operators and say, and get our equal block. And then we're going to say, if shotgun unlocked equals to one, then we're able to go ahead and use our shotgun. So now let's go back to our if statements and we're going to set new kill requirements for each weapon. So go to operators and say equals, and then go to control and we're going to say if, and then we'll go to operators for one more time to get our equal block. Now let's go to variables and get our kills block. Now here we'll say if kills equals to 45, then we'll unlock our AR. So let's set AR unlocked to one. Next, we're going to set our shotgun unlock to one. Once we get 90 kills. But now we want to alert our player if they've unlocked a gun or not. So let's go ahead and create a brand new sprite. So we're going to paint our sprite. And we're going to use text and we're going to now alert our player. So we're going to say pistol unlocked. And then we're going to click enter and then we're going to say press two to use it. And then exclamation point. Now let's just create a click space so that we have a bit more space. And then we're going to go ahead and make an exclamation mark for our pistol unlocked. Press two to use it. And there we go. Now let's just use a different font. I'm going to go ahead and use the pixel font. 
and then I'm going to use a white color so saturate to white it won't be seen right here but let's just put it to the center and then move it right up here and we say pistol unlocked press 2 to use it there we go now let's just call this pistol unlocked now we're going to create two more sprites so we're going to paint another one and then paint one more so this one we're going to call ar unlocked and then we're going to call this one shotgun unlocked so now let's go ahead and click text and we're going to say shotgun unlocked press three to use it and exclamation point now let's just use space so it looks more centered and that's it for our shotgun sprite shotgun unlocked sprite now oh okay i made a mistake here let me just rename this to shotgun so i don't have to redo it Now we're just going to type a new text. We're going to say automatic rifle unlocked. Press three to use it. And then we're just going to space this so it's centered and right there. Now let's move it to the middle. So now this one should be four. So what we're going to do is just, I'm just going to edit it by double clicking. And then that will let us edit our text. So just go ahead and say press four to use it and then center it. Okay, there we go. Now we have all our different unlocks ready to use. So now what we're going to do is go to our code and events and say, when I receive start game and then create a when flag is clicked. So we're going to hide it when the flag is clicked and show it when I receive start game. And then what we're going to do is forever, we're going to look if any of the different, the different guns are unlocked. So let's go ahead and put the three guns that are unlockable. And then we're going to say if, and then go to operators and say, if pistol unlocked equals one, then what we're going to do is show for about one for two seconds and then we're going to hide it and then what we'd want to do is switch to a costume we want to switch it to pistol unlocked costume and then we're just going to switch it before we show it but the problem we're going to have is that if we use a forever loop and the pistol is finally unlocked it will forever be doing this script right here so what we're going to do is instead take this away and remove our forever loop and instead what we're going to do is use a block called wait until and we're going to say wait until pistol unlock equals one and once pistol unlocked equals one what we're going to do is switch costume to pistol unlocked show it and then we're going to wait instead five seconds i feel like will be better after that what we're going to do is get the wait until block and we're going to bring it again here so now go to operators and then we're going to click our equals block and we'll go to AR unlocked and we'll see if it equals to one. And then we're going to switch our costume back to AR unlocked before we show it. And then we're going to show it. And then we go to events. We'll go to control and wait five seconds. And then we're going to go ahead and hide it again. Next, what we want to do is then repeat the process one more time, but for our shotgun instead. So we wait until, and then go to operators and then click equals. And then we're going to say, wait until our shotgun unlocked equals one. And once it's unlocked, we're going to go to looks and switch our costume to shotgun unlocked. And then click show and then wait five seconds again. So go to control and wait five seconds. 
once the five seconds have passed then we want to go ahead and hide it so let's go ahead and test it but then what we want to do first is actually not show it when i receive start game so let's go ahead and remove that and click flag now i'm going to just skip ahead when i have 15 kills okay so a bug i did run into while playing the game is i realized that the exit button is still active so what we want to do is instead go to our play button and we're going to create a brand new variable so we're going to go to variables and we're going to then create a brand new variable and we're going to say game started so then we're going to click ok and then once we're done with that we're going to set game started to zero at the beginning and we're going to then set game started once game started has been pro broadcasted so we're going to say game started equals two equals to one so now let's go to our exit button and we're going to say if so we go to control and say if variables and get our game started we just don't show it anymore and say if it does not equal one then if it does not equal one then we can go ahead and do the script so now let me go ahead and test it so now i'm just going to skip ahead until i get 15. Let's see. there we go it says pistol unlocked press 2 to unlock it and you can see if we numbers none of the guns will show but what we do realize is that you don't really feel that you've unlocked a gun so let's go ahead and add a sound effect so we're going to go to our sprite let's just rename it and say weapons unlocked indicator and then okay let me just add my n okay now we say weapons unlocked indicator what we're going to do is go to sounds delete this pop and add a brand new sound so we're going to upload the sound um from the 8-bit sound library so just go to mp3 and we're going to use one of the collect points so let's go ahead and just select all of them and see which one works best so let's play this one so i feel like the collect point zero one sounds the best so let's just go ahead and remove these two so now what we're going to do is go to our code and then go back to sound and then we're going to play sound collect point until done that's what we want to do so we're just going to show it once we show it then we of course play our sound so let's go ahead and do that here and do that right here now we have a sound playing every time we unlock a gun so the last thing we want to do is just increase difficulty as the game progresses so let's go to our zombie and we're also going to go to our bullet so let's start with our zombie let's go ahead and create four new variables so let's go to make a variable and we're going to create first min at uh, the minimum zombie spawn and then i just go ahead and copy that and then do it again and then say instead of minimum we'll say maximum zombie spawn and then again we do this again but instead of zombie spawn we'll say minimum ammo spawn and then we're going to do that again and say maximum zombie spawn so now we have different values for our minimum and maximum zombie spawn so what we're going to do is just disable all of them so they don't show they don't need to be showing here is where the time it takes for the zombie to create a clone of itself so let's go ahead and say minimum zombie spawn right here and then we'll say maximum zombie spawn so let's just rename this one i forgot i didn't do this one properly so maximum zombie spawn so now let's go ahead and get the maximum zombie spawn and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh when when i receive game started so start game and then what we're going to do is do about the same thing we did with our weapons and use the wait until block so let's go back to our zombie and then say wait until and then we go to operators and say equals 
so we say wait until pistol unlock equals one and now that this one says pistol equals one now what we're going to do is set our zombie spawns so we're going to set minimum zombie spawn right here minimum zombie spawn and we're going to set maximum zombie spawn so we're just going to duplicate this and put it at the top so at the beginning our minimum zombie spawn will be five and the maximum will be ten so this is basically how long it takes so the smallest it can take for a zombie to spawn will be five and the longest it could possibly take is ten so to choose a random number between those two next what we want to do is once our pistol is unlocked we want our zombies to come at a faster rate so instead we're going to go three to seven now let's go ahead and duplicate this and change this instead of pistol unlocked to ar unlocked we're going to do instead of three to seven we will say two to five and then duplicate this one more time and then say how about our shotgun and then we'll say one two three i feel like three will be too much for the player so we'll just say two to three or two to four okay now we just want to do this exact same thing with the ammo so not to waste time we'll just duplicate this and take it to our ammo spread with the ammo pickup where we pick up our ammo that's where the ammo spawns so go to our ammo pickup and drag this here so right now it's three to five seconds where the ammo spawns so let's just start it as 99999 to 99999 and the, the reason we're going to be doing this is because we want and we want to set this to ammo first, minimum ammo spawn and maximum ammo spawn. Uh, maximum ammo spawn right here. So the reason we're doing such a high number is because we don't want ammo to spawn at the beginning of the game. We want our player to only pick up ammo once they actually have a gun to shoot. So now let's go ahead and make this ammo pretty rare at the beginning. So 6 to 12. And then AR unlocked. Once you have an AR, a pretty fast gun that gets rid of ammo quickly, we can go ahead and make it three to five. And then once you have a shotgun, which uses more ammo than all of the guns, we can just say two to four. Yeah, we can leave it about there. So make sure you change this to the ammo. So minimum ammo to maximum ammo. Make this one minimum ammo to maximum ammo. And then minimum ammo to maximum ammo. So now let's go ahead and go to the minimum ammo spawn, put this here, and the maximum ammo spawn, put this here. So now let's go to our zombie. And yeah, everything looks to be working fine. So now let's go ahead and test our game. Exit, exit button works. Play, exit button doesn't work. Okay, so we have an ammo that did spawn. That's okay. So there we go. I played the game a couple of times and it was really fun. So a few final touches we're going to make. As you can already see, I'm in the tap sensing and we're here at the set drag mode. So we're just going to go ahead to every single sprite and we're going to set set drag mode to not draggable. So as you can, as you might have been able to tell as you were shooting zombies, sometimes they'll drag around. So that's not anything you'd want in while playing the game. So let's just make all our sprites not draggable. So we've come to the end of our tutorial series. Well done to everyone who made it this far. Make sure to smash the subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.